going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I wanted to make this video for you guys because I have been getting asked a lot of questions lately regarding the length of my hair and people are making assumptions regarding the way I take care of my hair and asking me, you know, are stretches really good for your hair? Maybe you're stretching too long. Maybe you shouldn't do six months stretches because your hair seems a lot shorter and what happened to your length? You know what I mean? And it's just like, what? Like, why are you guys making this assumptions up? It's not, that's not even the case. So I wanted to go ahead and address that to you guys. My hair does seem a lot shorter than my past past videos and that's because I've been cutting it. I've been trimming my hair. I've been dusting my hair. Um, it started really in October when I went to a salon to get my hair relaxed. I had an unplanned trim. I was not planning to get my hair trimmed that day but the stylist did it for me and she ended up cutting maybe two or three inches off of my hair. That's not a trim but she did it and at first I was upset about it but after really looking at my hair and the reality of it was that I really needed to get those ends off. Now, when I'm saying ends, I mean split ends. I'm saying heat damage. I had years on years of heat damage and still on me. You know what I mean? I had not cut those ends. And it's just really from, it, it was really from a result of just using my flat iron every single day prior to my hair journey. And I was, in a sense, trying my best to retain those ends. I was trying my best to hold on to them. And you guys would tell me, you know what I mean? Like prior, like my old stretch videos, you guys would be like, oh, your hair looks great. You got so much length, but you need a trim. Or if you just t get those ends taken care of, your hair would be gorgeous and da da da. And I would be like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm gonna do a trim, but I never really, really got one or did one or was consistent with, with dusting or trimming because I was trying my best to just hold on to them for length's sake. My priority was in the wrong, you know, my priority was in the wrong area. I was so focused on length. I wasn't focused on the health of my hair. Now, anytime you focus on length, 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 you're gonna try to hold on to stuff, you know what I mean? And that's kind of what I was. I was trying my best to hold on to these straggly, bushy, damaged, heat damaged ends, instead of looking, looking at the bigger picture, which is the health of my hair. You know what I mean? So I'm just thankful that I have a better perspective and the right perspective of a, of a healthy hair care journey because it's not called a long hair care journey. It's called a healthy hair care journey. You know what I mean? And I did not want to cut my ends, but I'm happy that I did. So since October, I've been trimming my hair. I've been dusting my, um, my ends. Um, trimming my ends, dusting my ends, getting rid of these heat damaged ends. Anything I see that I do not like, thin ends, I've just been cutting them. Not not like a whole lot, like a big old chunk, just cutting it, but just gradually, you know? So that probably, that is probably why um, my hair looks shorter. And if you look at the past stretch videos, I think it was like my August stretch video versus my October stretch result video, you will see a huge difference in length. Like my hair is like maybe touching my bra strap in August, but in October you see that my hair is touching is, is, is touching like kind of by like my armpit length like I'm about APL in October so you can definitely see a difference you know and that big difference is not because of stretching or because stretching is too long for me or stretching isn't good no it's because of the fact that the stylist cut a big chunk of my hair that day and I have just been keeping up with that I just been dusting my ends and getting rid of those ends you know so yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's that, that's what happened to my length. I've been cutting it. You know, I've been I've been taking care of my ends a lot better than I have in the past, you know? And I'm not doing this for length, guys. I'm I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not doing this to see how long my hair can go. If my hair can be waist length, I'm not doing this for length. You know what I mean? I'm doing it for healthy hair care. And if I had to cut off five inches, 10 inches off my hair for healthy hair, you better believe I would have did it. I would have done it. I still would do it. You know what I mean? So it's whatever to me. I don't care about length. Length is great. Yes, your hair is going to grow, but don't let that be your focus. Focus on having more manageable hair, more softer hair, having your pH balance, having a moisture protein balance. You know what I mean? Focus on the health of your hair. And that's something that I had to get my priority checked. And I'm glad I did because now I'm focused on the right things, you know? So I think that's all I want to talk to you guys about. I think, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I hope I answer some of the questions that you guys had about what happened to your length I just told you guys so hopefully you know the questions stop but if not I will just direct you to this video <laughs> 
So anyway, guys, um, I love you guys so much. And thank you guys for just being here and watching me and supporting me and all that great stuff. And um, I will be doing an updated hair regimen video very soon. I'm trying my best to make my regimen simple to take out a lot of products because I have a lot of products guys maybe I'll do like a hair product storage video where you guys can see like all my products because I have a lot of products that I don't even use anymore like I don't use some so maybe I need to like give them away to like my family or my friends or somebody <laughs> who can take them from me because it's just like I really want to work on making my regimen simple keeping it simple as possible because hair doesn't need a whole bunch of stuff you know what I mean like hair just needs the minimum not the maximum you know so yeah i'm working on keeping my regimen simple so once i do that i will post a video on how i'm doing that you know what i mean what products i'm using and how i'm using those products in the best simplicity form best simple form whatever but anyway i love you guys so much and have an awesome day okay bye